Hey guys, so if you guys couldn't already tell, I'm kind of catching up on requests this week. And in my last couple videos, I have been wearing lip combinations that people have been asking me about a lot. Um, they've been asking me what lip color I'm wearing, where they can purchase it. And almost every single time somebody will ask me about my lip color in the past few weeks, I'm always wearing my lip tars from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. So I promised a few people that I would do a sort of review slash demo um, sort of like swatches. I'm going to show you all of the colors on my lips so you guys can see them and just kind of explain how they work. Most of them are 100% vegan and cruelty free. And um, you might think that these tubes are really small when you look at them. You might think that's not much for your money. You know, that's a really small lip tar. Um, but let me tell you what. This is actually a lot of product because if you've seen any other reviews or demonstrations using these OCC lip tars, you will know that just a tiny little droplet of this product is going to cover your lips. So this is actually quite a lot. This is, it's going to take me forever to get through all of these lip tars. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you each one individually on the lips, and then I'll try to like do some combinations like I've done in my videos to show you what they look like when they're mixed. Because the really cool thing about the lip tars is that you can really just mix two different or three different colors on your lips and create a completely different color. And it seems like no matter what two colors you mix, even if they look like they'd be weird together, like this pastel orange and pastel purple, when you mix them together, they create a really wearable color. So I'm gonna show you all these individually first, right on my lips so that you guys can get a better idea. I think that sometimes when you swatch lip products on your hand, you can't really get a true sense of what it's going to look like when you apply it. So I'm just gonna put them right on my lips to show you guys. Freaking stomach is growling like crazy. Okay. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you guys is Cha Cha. This is the light pastel orange. And I'm just using my Sigma SS209 little lip brush to apply these. And you just squeeze them. As you can see, it comes out of this little hole in the top. And you just put a little tiny bit onto your brush and then just apply. It doesn't take much at all. And I will tell you that these do have a little bit of a minty um, feeling to them, but it's very refreshing and very nice. Okay, so now I have Cha Cha applied, and this is what it looks like. And I can just feel it on my lips. It's like this really great minty feeling, and I love that with lip glosses. I just think that the quality of these is great. As you can see, it goes on very pigmented. They're not sticky at all. They're like really nice and creamy. Oh, I love them. They're absolutely perfect, and they are absolutely long wearing. Hence the reason that they're called lip tars. They're going to really stay. Um, so this is what Cha Cha looks like. So I'm getting ready to apply my next color, so I blotted my lips off on like a heavy duty paper towel. And as you can see, that is like a very pigmented <laughs> lip swatch. We're going to apply the brighter orange color, and this one is called Divine. This is like the same color as my dress. See, when they first go on, when you first start applying with this lip brush, you're like, ah, because they're kind of like watery. But then once you start to blend them in, they just blend beautifully. They're so creamy. They're not thick at all. Um, I know a lot of people might think because they're called lip tars that that means that they're like really, really thick and sticky. At least that was my opinion when I heard the name. Oh, they're the complete opposite. They're so nice. So light, I can barely even feel them on my lips. So these, I think, will be great for spring and summer. So this is Divine. As you can see, it's like a really gorgeous, bright coral color. It's like almost the same exact color as my dress. It's like a really nice, bright, corally peach.
The next color is definitely the brightest fuchsia pink, and this is anime. And some of these colors, they are a little more um, hard to wear individually. They're really, really bright. They even sell black and white, but really it's because these are mixing mediums, so they're meant to be mixed. So a lot of the colors you might not think are very wearable alone, but once you mix them with another color, they're great. So. Okay guys, so this is anime. This is the hottest pink. Very, very bright as you can see, but look how white this color makes my teeth look. I actually almost really like it individually because it is so bright and I don't have any colors like this. I mean, this is a really hot, hot, vibrant, bright fuchsia color. Absolutely gorgeous. So again, this one is anime. Okay, so I did just have to go use a little bit of um, Max Eye and Lip Makeup Remover to get the anime off because it is a little bit staining just because it is such a bright pigmented fuchsia. Um, but definitely, definitely will stain your lips a little bit. So, you know, once all the creaminess comes off, you're still going to have color. So that's another thing I like about these. So the next color I'm going to be showing you is their Lip Tart in Vapid. This is the really gorgeous lilac -y purple color that I love for spring. Get a little bit, so you can see it just comes out. And So this is the color Vapid. Um, it's a little bit crazy on its own, but I have seen other companies come out with colors like this and people have gone crazy for them, like Max um, Fashion Muse from the Hello Kitty collection. It is a gorgeous, lavender, perfect, bright, vibrant, lilac -y color. It makes me wish I had blue eyes because I can only imagine how a freaking amazing that this color would look on someone with blue eyes because it has like a bluey undertone to it. Very bright, almost has like an iridescent quality to it, um, but not quite. Um, all of these aren't matte, but they have just a really nice creamy satiny finish. I love them. So this is vapid. The next color I'm applying is the little more neutral hot pink, and this one is pageant. So this is obviously lighter than anime, but it's still a really gorgeous hot pink. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. That droplet was probably way too big because now it's like all over my lips looking crazy. Okay guys, so this is pageant. As you can see, it's a really gorgeous, true pink, very Barbie-esque, so that's pageant. Okay, so I've saved the two most neutral colors for last. Um, the first one is Memento, and this is the darker of the two, um, like, dusty rose neutral colors that I have. Okay, so this one is Memento, and as you can see, it's like a dusty rose. Um, Wearing this dress, it almost takes a little bit of a coral look to it, but as you can see, a lot more wearable and neutral than some of the other colors, um, maybe for someone that's not as daring, um, but this is a really cool um, color to mix with some of the more bright colors because it just sort of like tones them down and makes them a lot more wearable. So this is Memento. My poor lips are looking rough by this point. <laughs> but this is the final color that I have, and this is Hush, and this is the lightest, most neutral color that I have. Um, this is like a really um, more beigey rose color. This is the final color on my lips, and this is Hush. And as you can see, this is a very neutral color. So now that I have like put on a million lip tars and remove them, my lips look a lot more pigmented because they're a little bit stained and they're kind of irritated. So because of that, this looks almost too neutral, like almost like it's the same color as my lips. Um, but if I had done this one first, which I probably should have done this before all the bright colors, this almost comes off as like a coral, more on the beige side. So it's really a good color for spring, the Hush, very neutral, um, very natural looking. 
So these are definitely some of my favorite products this spring. I am absolutely loving all of my lip tars, and so I was really happy to show you guys the demo and really flattered that you guys were loving my lip combinations in my last few videos. Um, I'm just going to show you really quick just a couple of combinations. Obviously, with seven of these, I could go on forever with different combinations. Um, but I'll just show you a couple that I have been liking recently. And then that'll be the end of this video. Okay, so right now I'm mixing Pageant and Divine. Um, the Hot Pink and the Hot Corally Orange. And you can see that I just put them both on and kind of like press my lips together. And they look like ombre. I love it. I find that when you're mixing these, it helps just to use your finger rather than the brush. So now you can see what color we've created with Divine and Pageant. When I put the hot orange and the hot pink together, I get this really gorgeous coral color. See? <laughs> um, so this I absolutely love. This is the color that I wore in my hair waver tutorial, my bedhead waver tutorial, and a lot of people asked what I was wearing on my lips. This is the color. It is a obviously orangey pink because those are the two colors that I mix. But when you put them together, it is a gorgeous bright coral pink, which in my opinion is the perfect color for spring and summer. And it just really brightens up all of your features and your skin tone and it just makes your eyes look brighter, your teeth look whiter, and I love this combination. So again, this is a combo of Divine and Paget. So now I'm going to be showing you guys a combo of the two lighter pastel colors, Cha Cha, which is the pastel orange, and Vapid, which is the light purple lavender. So I already have Vapid on, and now I'm just going to apply some Cha Cha over it. I'm just going to use my finger again, um, because these are uh, creamy and blendable, so it's just easier for me to do this rather than to use the brush. So the mixture of these two lighter OCC lip tars in Vapid and Cha Cha gave me like this cool toned pink, as you can see. So you'd be surprised when you mix these together what kind of colors you can come up with. Um, you wouldn't really expect a cool pink to come out of a purple and orange color, but that's what you get when you mix them together. So my favorite combination is definitely these two, Divine and Pageant. I like to mix these together for the first combination look, which was the Bright Coral. Um, but I just think that all of them are really amazing. They have such a great variety. So I'll put the link for Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics down below, and you can go take a look at all of their lip tars. They have some really wild ones. Um, but anyways, I just love the consistency of these. I love the staying power. I love the minty feeling because of the peppermint oil in these. Um, I love that they are not thick or sticky or drying. They are are just absolutely perfect so these definitely get an a plus from me um, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and review if you have any questions requests anything like that just leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you bye guys